Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm here today with my beauty empties for August. Not a lot this month guys so yeah I think it's just been a month of lots of new things getting opened so yeah but a few to share with you guys because I do want to try and keep on top of these monthly from now on. Right we'll start off with one of our star products Enchant and Soap Zappa Whip Soap. This one was like a grey and peachy colour. Smelled very much like melon with a hint of pineapple. I really liked this one. Got through this one in just a couple of weeks because it is a smaller size. You can get these in bigger sizes. So if you like melon and hint of pineapple, definitely one for you. Really nice one for the summer. I used up this one in its entirety, both on my hair, on my body, for shaving and for washing my hands. So yeah, great multifunctional product. And if you'd like 15% off at Enchant and Soap, don't forget to use my code Drusilla15. Please do use that, do yourselves a favour. Yeah, so love that. There will probably be a whip soap in every single empties, if not more. But yeah, just one for today. We do have a couple of others open. Um, one from the July monthly box and also the cookies and scream one with ghost face on it. So yeah. They'll probably be the next ones. But yeah, love that. Another one from Enchant and Soap. This is the sample of Jamaican Me Crazy Eau de Parfum. And I got this in a mystery box. And I was trying to make it last at first because they didn't have the full size. But as I kindly got gifted the big Eau de Parfum from Jules, thanks again Jules, I thought, right, just finish this off and then go back to the big bottle. Love this scent, very happy to have it in a full size. I've tried a few Enchant and Soap perfumes, so really, really nice. Wouldn't mind trying the Raspberry Bubbles one at some point as well. So that's my two from Enchant and Soap. Then we have the Hex by Nightshade Wax Melts in Poison Apple. Really like this company, it's a nice little small brand based in the UK. It's nice to see little small brands pop up in Coven. Very much looking forward um, to maybe getting a £20 mystery box, past mystery box from them at some point. Because, yeah, I really like some of their stuff. Really good box, the, um, the Poisons and Potions box. And it was quite popular on the channel as well. These were little, there was three wax melts. They were like little poison bottles. One had a skull, one had a witch's hat. I think the other one had a spider. Yeah, it was a spider. Bright green and black, very aesthetic. But more than that, nice wax. I will say, though, I think these are quite appropriate ones for maybe more towards Christmas time because it smells a bit more like apple pie. Even though they were poison bottles, the scent was a little bit more bakery apple. Very much enjoyed it. I'll link X by Nightshade down below. Do go check them out. So yeah, very, I like it when you see things like this in subscription boxes and little collabs. That was a good one. Then the Colgate White Teeth. This is not our preferred one, but it was okay. One that we got gifted, the Tea Tree Conditioner. Not using conditioner as much as we used to now that we're using Whip Soap. But it, it was handy to have one in. And we used to go through three of these bottles a month or other ones. And this has lasted us about six weeks, one of them. So quite a reduction there. It's an okay one. It does have a nice little bit of a tingle to it. It's not bad. Might pick one of these up because I'm trying to make little savings here and there. But we'll see if I get a conditioner perhaps in my Enchant and Soap orders. Maybe I won't. I don't know. But it's all right and it's budget friendly. And then one from Jules. It's the Sweet Mandarin Hand Mask. I was going to save this for winter, but my hands were feeling quite chapped the other day, so I popped the gloves on. It's Tangerine Dreams. Reminds me of being in the body shop as a teenager and getting the bubble bath or the little bath pearls, if anyone remembers them. Loved it, and it certainly moisturised my hands, so yeah, loved it. And it's Le Mini Macaroon Sweet Mandarin hand mask so it's like a little pair of gloves that you pop on very very nice so very much appreciated that and then we finally have a wax melt 
from Dark Side Cosmetics. I really liked the skull design on these because it reminds me of Terminator. They look like metal teeth, just the way they grin in there. Very aesthetic. It was coconut wax, had a nice scent. It was, it reminded me of um, a little bit of cashmere when I've smelt cashmere and wax before, cashmere and something else, it was pretty, it was nice, and it did a few burns because I was able to just break off the little cubes and pop them in my smaller burner. I'll say this is the last one, it isn't. So yeah, not many there for this month, but there is some that I couldn't have my list of crazy notes. All I have left currently, guys, from Heavenly Darkness is this dude. Isn't he awesome? He smells amazing but I have used everything else so he can represent the company there for a moment for me while I go through the list we use the Pennywise mango and passion fruit I adored that would definitely get that again we had the other dragon from the set here we used him in the big burner we did have to pull him out as it filled the burner and then use him use like the second half of him scented in dragon's blood it was stunning i have a slight preference for this blood orange scent but they were both gorgeous and then we used the two pack of skull potion voodoo dolls bottles we had like two packs we had a pink and purple one which was bewitched and a blue one which was apple candy they were both gorgeous but i think i preferred the bewitched so yeah um, but both really nice apple candy was good for the kitchen but bewitched was a little bit more girly and I, I loved that a little bit more floral and then the gargoyle in rainbow kiss which we've had before and we adore because it smells like a unicorn super sweet on that one really highly recommend this company you can catch them at the alternative market night or just shop them anytime on their website they do also make their way around um, various markets and cons if you haven't seen lucifer and the demon consort also known as gareth on lucifer's channel their um, manchester con video i'll link that down below because lou did actually spot this company and pick up i think she picked up a couple of things but what i do specifically remember is she got a little ash from evil dead because both myself and lucifer are huge Bruce Campbell fans and love Evil Dead. So yeah, great one for horror fans. Plenty of goth ones as well. Just an amazing selection and they do so many great candles too. So don't forget to go and check them out. All right, guys, much love. Um, Oh, I will say actually, before I go, for August, you may have just knocked him over. For August, oh, I've just broken his ear. Never mind, he's going to get burned soon. But um, for August, this was the only item that I purchased, beauty-wise, because it's been a quiet month, empties-wise. I've not needed anything, but we did need toothpaste. And I just wanted to kind of say and mention that it's okay, you know, to have a no-buy or a low-buy month here and there. Still plenty to use and to review and to talk about on here. It's okay, you know, to do that low-buy and... You don't need to constantly be buying beauty stuff if you don't need it. Or, you know, if your supplies are not low. Maybe leave it, especially with makeup, because that stuff goes off. So you may have noticed a reduction in makeup content on the channel. Do like to unbox and enjoy a bit of it here and there. But that stuff lasts, so there's been a little bit of a reduction in beauty content, at least in terms of unboxing anyway. But for September, I will have some Bath & Body and Beauty goodies to share with you all. Because yeah, a few things are starting to run a little lower now. But yeah, I do need to pick up some hair dye and some mouthwash. So that will be on my list. But yeah, I just wanted to say if you need to, you know, take a month off, take a month off. Review products. And yeah, that's why we like to vary it up on the channel. Do a little bit of gothic content. Like with our Timu haul. Vesta needed socks. So it was practical. We use and enjoy the products that we get from boxes. We use and enjoy all the beauty goodies we get. If something's not appropriate, we gift it on to a friend or put it in a bundle to um, like the giveaway I did at 200 subscribers. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of say that because as somebody who unboxes on YouTube, yes, we get stuff. We're very fortunate to win some giveaways. 
we're also quite fortunate that we've had a little bit of PR here and there but for the most part you know we buy things to review things that we need and want things that are useful for our home or for you know toiletries and beauty goodies so yeah we try and keep it real and try and keep it reasonable <laughs> so yeah just thought that was important to say so if you need to do a month off or a couple of months you know that's okay all right guys well much love take care of yourselves till the next one